Number 18, it's a special number to me. My dad wore number 18 at Ole Miss. Cooper is wearing number 18 in honor of my dad. And then a couple of things happened. Um, Cooper uh, was injured. And Cooper wrote me a letter, Mort, and said that he could no longer play football anymore physically, but he wanted to live his dream of playing football through me. I really took that letter to heart. I I've carried that with me throughout my entire career. How about the fact that nobody will ever wear that as an Indianapolis coat ever again? I certainly realize uh, the rarity of the occasion of a number being retired. I'm the first Indianapolis Colts player to have their number retired, but I'm joining a list of Colts to have their number retired. It means a great deal. I'm tremendously honored and humbled. When you first arrived here, describe what the city was as a sports town. Well, it was kind of basketball and car racing were kind of the top priorities. And football was just not as high up on that list. That's one of the things that I think me and my teammates are so proud of, that we were a part of kind of this transformation, becoming a football town. I mean, this is the most jersey-wearing stadium of, of all time. Jim Mora, I thought, was the perfect coach for this team. He instilled a toughness and a discipline in this team. I played every snap my rookie year. He never once pulled me out of a game. And there were some games that I probably needed to be pulled out. I mean, I was bad in a lot of games, but he stuck with me. I never got broken. My confidence was up and down. But I'll always be indebted to uh, Jim Moore for sticking with me. Remember Coach Dungy in this calm voice could kind of map out 